Hello! For this video, I will be discussing a combinatorics topic known as the principle of inclusion and exclusion, which is also known as PI. The goal of this discussion is for us to be able to solve this problem, which is uh, quite common in math competitions, either locally or internationally, even online. The problem is how many positive integers less than or equal to 2020 are there that are divisible by 2, 3, or 5. So I think we must solve by the end of the video. Before proceeding to the solution to this problem, let's first introduce the uh, principle of inclusion and exclusion. So per brilliant.org, which is my favorite website, math website, it's that the principle of inclusion and exclusion is a counting technique that computes a number of elements that satisfy at least one of several blah 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 blah. Anyway, the, the essential point here is to avoid counting more than once. So it's here twice, several times, or whatever. So yung gusto natin gawin is to include and exclude properly para wala tayong double count. So uh, as an introduction, I think this is best illustrated if we discuss uh, sets. So I have two, uh, two sets here. Let's call the blue one as set A. And then the red one as set B. The number of elements of A is denoted by the cardinality of A. It looks like the absolute value of A and B. So this refers to the cardinality of A, cardinality of B. So kung gusto nating malaman kung ilan yung total na laman itong dalawang circle na to, ang pinakamadali natin gagawin is hanapin natin kung ilan yung laman ni A, tapos i-add natin yung laman ni B. So that's A plus B. Ano yung problema sa method na to? If we do this, we are counting this region twice. That region twice. So yung sabi ko kanina na double counting. So ang gusto ni principle of inclusion and exclusion is to uh, remove that uh, double counting. So paano natin i-account yan? So ang gagawin lang natin is isusubtract natin from this total yung cardinality or the number of elements in this set, which is their intersection. So the intersection of this set is denoted as A and B. So we're just getting the cardinality of this set. Okay? So, in other words, para malaman natin yung total number of elements sa dalawang sets na to combined, ang gusto natin gawin is uh, bilangin natin yung laman ni A, bilangin yung laman ni B, i-add sila, and then subtract yung number of elements common sa kanilang dalawa. So for example, if we have A, the set being, oh pangit, 1, 2, 3, and then B is equal to 2, 3, 4, ang gusto natin malaman is kung ilan yung laman ni A at saka ni B combined. So that's in notation, that's A or B. Para malaman natin yan, bilangin lang natin lahat ng unique sa kanilang dalawa. 1, 2, 3, that's 3, and then 4. So, this is 4. Pero nat, pa, paano natin yung gagawin using this principle of exclusion and inclusion? Exclu inclusion and exclusion. First is you count A, tatlo yung elements niya, so that's 3. Then yung B, tatlo rin, so that's 3 plus 3, minus ilan yung common sa kanila. Common sa kanila to, ito. So, that's 2. So, 3 plus 3 minus 2 is equal to 4. And we're done. Simple lang. Simple lang talaga yung idea ni, ni Pi. Let's try it for a word problem. The question is, how many cards in the standard deck of cards are spades or ace? So, kung nalito pa rin kayo, let's draw a circle. Actually, that represents two sets. Pangit ako mag ng circle, but that's fine. Let this be the set of sp uh, spades, and this is the set of ace. Ilan yung laman ni S? So, ilan yung spades sa isang standard deck of cards? That's 13. Ilan naman yung ace sa isang standard deck of cards? That's 4. Say so 4 of hearts, 4 of spades, 4 of clover, 4 of diamond. And then finally, what's S and A? Ano ibig sabihin S and A? Ito yun. S and A is a spade that is also, a, 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 that is also an ace. So, which is, that is the ace of spades. Ilan yung ace of spade? Isa lang. So yung total na gusto natin for this one is 13 plus 4 
minus 1 is equal to 16. So 16 is the final answer. Gets? Gets. Next sample problem. How many positive integers less than or equal to 20, 20 are divisible by 2 or 5? Uh, 2 or 3. So this is much related to the problem you want to solve, except that this is much simpler because dalawa lang yung uh, divisors na meron tayo. So again, let's do, draw two circles. Nangyari. Mabusan ng tinta. This one, pangit, okay. A, B. A being the number of 2's divisible by 2 and then the number of divisible by 3. Ilan yung laman ni A? Paano natin bibilangin yun? Ang gawin nyo lang, i-divide nyo lang si 20, 20, divide by 2, 10, 10. And then yung integer, low, uh, the greatest integer lower than this, lower, lower than or equal to this is the number of elements of A. Gets ba? Gets. For, for, uh, kung mahirapan kayo, ano ba? 1, 2, 3, 4. Ilan yung multiples of 2 dito? Obviously, that's 2. Paano, natin, paano natin malalaman yung sagot na mabilis? It's 4 divided by 2. Which is 2. Similarly, for B, that's 20, 20 over 3. That's equal to 673 and remainder 1, so 1 third. So, yung cardinality ni B is yung uh, integer na closest dito, which is 673. Next, we want the intersection of A and B. So that's A intersection B. That's the, ear, that's the number of elements common to both of them. So to do that, kailan magiging divisible yung number by both 2 and 3? Answer, when it is divisible by 6. So using the same process as the 2 above, that's 20, 20 over 6. So the answer is around 160. Uh, what's the answer? The answer is 336 with the remainder 2. So that's 36 and 2 thirds, so that's uh, this cardinality is 3, 3, 6. So ilan yung sagot dito? 10, 10 plus 673 minus 336. So the answer is hindi ko alam. 1, 3, 4, 7. Medyo simple lang. Simple lang talaga yung idea niya. Yet, so mag-level up na tayo and proceed to uh, a set containing three variables. O three sets. So kanina, dalawa lang. Ayan, tatlo na yung circles natin. Let's say the blue one, blue set is called A, then the red is B, and then the last one is C. Kung gusto natin malaman yung cardinality ni A, uh, ni, ni common sa kanilang tatlo, that's denoted, by the way, by A, union B, union C. Ang gagawin natin is, same pa rin sa kanina, we add A, we add B, we add C. Pero, and remember, if in-add nyo sila, mag-double count ka itong area na to, itong area na to, and itong area na to. So again, ima-minus mo yung intersections nila. So that's A, intersection B, minus A, intersection C, minus B, intersection C. Are we done? No. Kasi kapag ginawa mo yan, na-double, na, na -double, uh, subtract ka naman itong area na to. Ito. Binawas mo siya dito. Binawas mo siya dun. Binawas mo dun siya sa kabila. So, ang best mo siya nabawas. So, para ma maalis yung double counting ulit na yun, we add back that something na common sa kanilang tatlo. A, intersection B, intersection C. Okay ba yun? Okay na okay. So yung technique nito is, to find the cardinality of the intersection of the three, what you do is you just add the cardinality of the individual, minus, isubtract nyo lahat, nung pairwise, so that's A, B, A, C, A, C, uh, B, C, and then add back yung tatlo naman. Gets? Galing, no? Galing. Okay, so, for the final part of this video, isosolve na natin yung problem na iniwan ko from the start, which is this problem. So again, yung technique dito is, hanapin mo yung uh, 
number of elements ni A and ni B and saka ni C tapos yung intersections nila. So, labi sabihin natin this set is A, this is B, this is C. This is the multiples of 2, multiples of 3, then multiples of 5. Again, ilan yung laman ni A? Nasod na natin ito kanina, 20, 20 over 2, 10, 10. Laman ni B is yung closest integers at 20, 20 over 3, which is 673. Ito hindi pa natin nasod. Cardinality ni C, that's 20, 20 over 5. So, this is 404. Next, hanapin natin yung intersection ni A at saka ni B. Again, ano yung intersection nila? Kailan sila magiging both multiple ni 2 at saka ni 3? That is when the number is divisible by 6. So, divide natin to by 6. So, the answer is, na-computer natin to kanina, this is 1, uh, ano to? sorry, 3, 3, 6. Next, yun namang A at saka C. That's 20, 20 divided by 2, and 5, 2 times 5, so that's 10. So this is 202. And then, yun namang B and C. So, divide naman natin siya by 15. So, the answer is 20, 20 divided by 15. That's around 134. 220 divided by 15. That's roughly... 134. Again, we're choosing the integer uh, less than what we what we get here. So, meron na tayo ng individual, individual, yung pairwise. So, ang natitira na lang is yung tatluhan. So, that's A, intersection B, intersection C. So, para magkuha naman yan, kung dito, kailangan siya maging both divisible by 2 and 3, dito naman, kailangan siya maging both divisible by 2 3 and 5. So, nangyayari lang yun if the number is divisible by 2 times 3 times 5, which is 30. So, para makuha to, we divide 20, 20 by 30. So, what we get is uh, 73. Ah, so, sorry, 67. Ito nakuha yun. 67. Okay, so, the total is the answer for this problem is 10, 10 plus 673 plus 404 minus 336 minus 202 minus 134 plus 67. Hindi ko to kayang i-add lahat ng mentally. So, magka-calculator na ako. So, the answer is 36 minus 202 minus 134 plus 67. The answer is 1482. Okay. Ang pangit ng sulat ko. So, yun lang for this topic. So, ang important dito is that you that you are able to identify kailan magiging kailan magiging ang tawag dito? Uh, inclusive and exclusive yung isang uh, region. So, uh, yun ang quick trick na tinuro ko sa, sa inyo kanina is if it's pairwise, meaning two at a time or four at a time, six at a time, uh, you subtract it, and then kapag uh, add number of pairs, add number of tuples, you, uh, you, you add back. So, yun. So, parang ang simple naman ang topic na to. Well, medyo. But this is uh, as simple as it is. Marami siyang application, especially in combinatorics and probability. Actually, the reason I made this video is because I'm trying to do a video on stars and bars. And stars and bars... Uh, one of the key principles sa kailangan para ma-apply siya sa more uh, problems is to be able to use the principle of inclusion and exclusion. So, uh, my tip is to master this first and then when you're ready, watch my video on stars and bars. Okay? So, that's it for this video and bye-bye!